So you got a bunch of plugins, but you're not really sure how to get them to show up inside of Adobe Audition on your M1 Mac Mini. Keep on watching this video. Choose. And when I hit choose, what you want to do is go ahead and scan for your plugins. Now, where? what's up, everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, guys, so what's up? Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys how to go ahead and get your plugins to show up inside of your Adobe Audition on your M1 Mac Mini. Now, I know it can be a little bit confusing. Sometimes, you know, it's really hard to navigate through the Mac and really try to find where folders and plugins are going. But once you kind of get it down, it gets a little bit easier from there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Let's go ahead and jump into it right now. All right, guys, so what you want to do is go ahead and go to the top and go to effects and then go down to audio plugin manager. OK, once you do that, you're going to have this section here that says VST plugin folders. Now, you may already have a couple sections on here to where it already finds some of your plugins. But if it don't, I'm going to show you how you can find waves and some of your other plugins that you may need to find. As you can see, if you just find some of these groups like users, uh, United Destiny ENT, which is my uh, main drive for my computer, and then my music folder. It has some plugins, but also library, audio plugins, audio plugins, VST, and Wave Shells because I really care about the Waves plugins as well. So that's what I want to be able to get to show up inside of this software. So what you want to do is just go ahead and hit this add button right here. Okay, and then what you want to do in the process is if you... You want to try to go ahead and go find uh, your main drive to your computer, okay? Uh, if yours happen not to show up, it should be able to show up on the side, but if it don't, there's a way to do it. I can just go ahead and show you guys that in another video if possible. But in this particular video, you just want to go ahead and find your Macintosh HD hard drive. And then in the process, once you click that, you just go ahead and go to um, library. And once you go to library, you want to go down to audio. And then you want to go to plugins. And after you go to plugins, you'll see VST3, you'll see VST, and pretty much anything else. But in these folders, you're going to see stuff like your Wave Shell. Uh, I got Melda Productions in here, uh, some of my Melda Production plugins or whatever. And then obviously, you're going to have a different folder down here as well. So, whichever one you just happen to want to utilize, you just go ahead and use that. But in this particular case, I want to utilize, in this particular case, I want to utilize a Wave Shell. Uh, VST and once I go ahead and click that I just pretty much hit choose and when I hit choose what you want to do is go ahead and scan for your plugins now wherever your plugins are you want to know all the folders where your plugins are and basically locate that and navigate to that in general okay so you're gonna you're gonna see different options that say library audio plugins VST users whatever your macintosh hd is audio plugins vst a lot of it is going to go to the vst folders and then you just want to go ahead and hit scan for plugins once you scan for plugins it's going to do its thing and you want to make sure that all of these are checked by hitting enable okay and once you do that you can go ahead and hit okay now once you go up to the top and you decide that you want to go ahead and put in whatever plugin that you want to put in there uh whatever plugin you want to put in there you're going to have a lot of your tools and things in there in general so if i go to the au there's all my wave stuff right there okay and my universal audio um my vocal line my melded production uh isotop all the other plugins that i basically have the auto tune everything is going to all show up in that folder so as long as you know how to navigate to your vst folder uh, you know exactly where a lot of this stuff is being installed, then go ahead and navigate to that folder and everything should pop up inside of your Adobe Audition with no problems and everything should be good from there, okay? Okay, and just to be on the safe side, what I want to go ahead and do is I just want to go ahead and try to make sure that one of the plugins are going to pop up with no issues. So let's just pull in a CLA and let's see what it does uh, from here. Voila, there it is, guys, popped up. With no issues, I'm pretty sure everything works just fine. Now I have all those plugins inside of Adobe Audition and I can do my tutorials. 
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Did this video help you out? If it did, go ahead and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell, guys. Don't hesitate to share these videos with other people because they may need help as well. Other than that, guys, be sure to go check out all my other tutorials. And as always, stay tuned for the next video. I know that she with it. I know that she love when I hit it. I know that she love. She it. know I'm a freak in the bed and she know she gon' get it. Yes, I'm gon' tear, tear it down. Tear it down. That body leaking like it's bleeding. You can tell by how she's breathing. She yeah. boring dick like I'm on it. Jam it, that pussy, I'm on it. We ain't on no limit, no matter the time. I'm gon' fuck her to the morning. And I'm gon' do it.